Hello, on this episode of The Average Tabletop Gamers, I'm going to be looking at an expansion for 7TV Pulp called Lurkers From The Deep. Hello, it is Sven here, and as I said, I'm going to be looking at this Lurkers From The Deep expansion for 7TV Pulp. So, this is a, an expansion or a feature pack, as it's as it's been titled. Um, so it goes alongside 7TV Pulp. Uh, so you're probably aware looking on uh, from the channel, we've looked at quite a few different 7TV variants uh, over the over the videos that we've done. Um, and 7TV Pulp is obviously one of the various different uh, types of or flavors of 7TV that you can play. And this is a narrative campaign pack that will take you through um, a set of scenarios based around uh, a New England town, a fictional New England town of Marshport. In the feature pack, you can either play as so sort of like the heroic side, the heroic cast, which will be either your your GIs, your G men, so like FBI agents or um, occult agents, which might be you know university professors from something like your Miskatonic University, or you can play against one of the villainous agents of the cult of Cthulhu uh, including the various fish folk that you'll find in Marshport. The first thing I really enjoy about these feature packs is the fact they're actually packaged up in old school VHS tape boxes um, and if you're my generation there's something special about VHS tape boxes because we used to spend hours looking at these in the various video rental shops trying to work out which is a good film, which is a B-movie, etc. And so the fact that this is packaged up exactly like that just brings back a lot of nostalgic um, reminiscing. So we've got here, as I say, war movie meets cosmic horror. So what do you get inside the feature pack? Now bear in mind, this is a feature pack. It's not a, a fully fledged kind of game box. It is a, a bit smaller, but you will see you've got everything you need to play through the campaign. So we'll have a look inside the box here, as you can see there inside our VHS style box. We've got, the first thing is we've got some MDF components. So these are some tokens and we've also got um, a little indicator, a little gauge, which comes with a pair of magnets. So that's obviously something we'll need to build up. All right, so I'll leave the magnets in there, but there you can see, so we've got the components we need to build the gauge and we've got some MDF tokens. We also get, as we're accustomed to with 7TV, our character cards. Uh, so we get a nice little selection of character cards there. So these are going to be the ones that we're going to use to build our cast out. We've got some extra gadget cards. Um, so we're get, going to get in there extra gadgets and MacGuffins and things like that, uh, which we'll use inside. So I'll just open these up and we'll have a quick look. So opening up the card pack, we've got a couple of MacGuffin cards. So there we've got the Idler Cthulhu. We've got some new gadget cards, which again are going to be specific to um, these scenarios, things like Hip Flask, Blinded Eye. We've got some injury cards. Uh, so if I look at these, we've got things like Wounded Chest, Smashed Jaw, Busted Arm. And we've got some new cards to be used, um, the cliffhanger cards. So you can see there we've got finales and act twos. So inside we also get um, an 80 page episode guide. So again, this is kind of like the episode guides that we used to seeing inside the other ones. But again, remember this is a narrative campaign. So this will give you specific um, ideas for the way the campaign plays. Uh, so we've got rules and story narrative and you can see there we've also got um, ideas about setup so I'll come on to this in a minute when we look at some of the scenery that the producer go alongside this so yeah we get a nice 80 page episode guide uh, which will take me through the narrative campaign and then we've got here Nice little thank you for backing. So this is obviously probably inside there from the Kickstarter. We get a nice little postcard there of our um, Lurkers from the Deep Style poster. 
And finally, so I thought it was an MDF one, but it's actually a card ritual tracker. And you can see there it's styled kind of like your occult game, so like your Ouija board type of thing. So that's what we get in the actual uh, box. So let's talk about the price of this. So the Lurkers from the Deep box, um, the expansion itself is £22, which I think is fantastic value for money in terms of getting a specific, uh, like a narrative campaign in a box, especially with new gadgets, new MacGuffins, new rules, new episodes, um, new characters to add to your cast and things like that, and obviously tokens which you can use. I think it's great value in terms of what you're actually getting in the box. Um, and I know that this is obviously the first of many of these feature packs that's going to come out. But as you'd imagine from Crooked Dice, alongside the feature pack, they also released a bunch of supporting materials. So new minis, new bits of terrain pieces, new bits of actual specific scenery. So I'll have a quick look at some of those bits now. Um, I didn't get all of them in the Kickstarter and I'm kicking myself about that now. But I can still go back and get them. There's nothing really that wasn't exclusive that I didn't pick up. Um, but we'll dive in. I'll show you some of the specific minis, terrain pieces, and actually some of the actual MDF scenery that was produced alongside. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through some of the minis here that I picked up alongside. So just to kind of show you, and hopefully this picks up and deal on the camera. So I said you get various factions like the fish folk. There's some beat cops there. We've got some agents of the occult. We got some more fish folk, uh, sailors and fishermen. We've got some American GIs. We've got some of our G-men, so our FBI agents. We've got some various heroes. And we've got a few extra bits like MacGuffin tokens. So we've got Necronomicon and what looks like a little idol of Cthulhu. And again, these were all available as part of the Kickstarter, but you can, of course, get these all through Crooked Dice's website, uh, as and when. Just go and have a look under the 7TV pulp and you'll probably find those in those sections. I also chose to pick up here some of the Marshport dock scenery so this is resin cast scenery so you can see there we've got things like little bales of of cargo and lobster pots we've got some barrels and again more lobster pots and oars we've got some whi uh, whiskey bottles very reminiscent of like whiskey galore we've got some little cobbles or little boats and again these are nice to just decorate the thing and again you can use these in most 7 tv scenarios it doesn't have to be Lurkers from the Deep. So as we saw in the episode guide, um, it's slightly different from the way that other 7 TV episode guides are laid out. The campaign in the Lurkers from the Deep actually gives you suggested maps. It actually gives you layouts of for each scenario to so you can play around the specific area of Marshport that that particular episode is set in. And so to support that, uh, Crooked Dice teamed up with Sarissa Precision who you'll know from, obviously they do a load of MDF scenery for various different game systems. Um, and they produced a whole range of terrain to go alongside and support 7TV Lurks from the Deep. So for example here, this is the Boat Builder's Hut and Boat. And I also picked up, I think there's about 9 or 10 buildings that came out as part of the Kickstarter. So there was also a lighthouse and... There was also this piece here, which I really like, which is the derelict refinery. And that comes with a little piece of train track. And it's like, you know, an old abandoned factory. And again, these bits of scenery, although they're designed to be used with lurkers from the deep, you know, the good thing with these is they are 28 mil scenery. You'll probably get use for them in other games of 7TV or any other 7TV or 28 mil scale game. So, you know, things that you could use in in get away with using it in games like ball action things like that um as i say i've only got the three buildings to start off with i'm probably going to go back and buy a few more of them because like a few of the other ones in the range because i really like the way they look and you know things like terrain i don't mind spending a bit extra cash on because it gives me more than i can use in other games as well as 7 tv so as i said uh, the expansion itself though i find is greatly priced at uh, like a great price at 22 pound bear in mind you do need a copy of um 7 tv pulp to be able to actually get the use of the rules in here so 
this itself isn't standalone. You will need a copy of Pulp to play Lurkers from the Deep. If you're into, you know, your cosmic horror, if you're into your Cthulhu or Lovecraftian folklore and that kind of thing, um, this is right your alley and it fits lovely with the Pulp scenarios and the, the rest of the, the Pulp game. So I would definitely put this on your list of things to look at. So as I said, uh, this isn't going to be the last feature pack. Uh, this is the first one I think that Crooked Dice have done like this. There is another one coming along very soon. There'll be a Kickstarter very soon um, for a feature pack for 7TV Fantasy, which I did a little unboxing of a little while ago on the channel. Um, and that one is going to be also the Fearless. So keep your eyes out on Crooked Dice's social medias. Um, so keep a look out for that if you're in like 7TV Fantasy. So I said there'll be the also the Fearless feature pack coming along uh, from Crooked Dice very soon on the Kickstarter and then obviously it'll be available general release uh, at some point after that in the near future. Uh, so as always with these things I can't wait to actually pick out a few of these casts get them painted up and actually start playing some of these scenarios through. Um, I'll be honest we've not actually managed to get a game of 7TV pulp in yet but I can see that playing through a narrative campaign might actually get us onto the table to play this a bit more so um as i said you know in review from me i really like this i lo love the the look and feel of it when um it was first came out in the kickstarter which is why i backed it and i love the styling and everything that's gone into making this look and feel the way it is like an old school vhs tape and obviously being a themed narrative campaign that you can play through so um, I guess what I'll do is I'll put the links below to where you can go and check this out on Crooked Dice's website and obviously the range of minis that go alongside it. Um, keep an eye out on our social medias because I will be painting some of these bits very soon and I'll put them on our Instagram and our Facebook. So I'll link those below and I'll put the um, I'll put the, the addresses and things below uh, on the screen so you can see our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And obviously let us know if you've already got this, if you've played this, hit us up in the comments and tell us what you thought of it. Um, but yeah, so go give us go give us a look. Uh, so yeah, if you go and give us a like, share and a subscribe if you like the kind of content that we're doing here on the Average Tabletop Gamers. And we'll see you very soon for some more. Goodbye.